We all have heartbeats, but what if I told you that the planet Earth also has one, just like you and me? Our journey starts with lightning, the beautiful streak of light that spreads across the sky and down towards the ground. Did you know that there are around 50 flashes of lightning every second? Try to wrap your mind around that. Boom, 50 flashes of lightning just happened. That means that by the end of my talk, there would have been nearly 10,000 flashes and every single one of these is emitting low-frequency electromagnetic waves. These waves go up into the atmosphere until they hit the boundary, known as the ionosphere, 50 kilometers up from the surface. Here, they interact with the particles and change their shape to resemble that of the Earth, only to come bouncing back towards the ground. And on their journey back, they increase in strength via a phenomenon called resonance. But what is resonance? Well, this is a model swing. And if I push it once, it's pretty slow. and It will eventually stop. But if I push it and then I match the back and forth motion of the swing with the pushing of my hand, I can make it stay in this state of motion. That's basically resonance in a nutshell. And it's what's happening to these waves in space, except instead of a swing, it's happening with light particles. These waves were first discovered in the early 60s by a scientist named Winfried Schumann, and so they're called Schumann frequencies, but it's also been nicknamed Earth's heartbeat. Now, there is more than one Schumann frequency, but the base is measured at 7.83 hertz. Now, you might be wondering, this is all very cool, but why would anyone ever want to use this? Well, just the way doctors can figure out a lot about what's going on inside of your body by measuring your heartbeat, scientists can figure out a lot about what's going on inside of whole planets by measuring their heartbeats. NASA is currently using these frequencies to explore planets in our solar system, including our own. Earthquake predictions and climate changes are just some of the areas where this is used. And what's more, there's research being done currently about a possible correlationship between our heartbeat, our brain waves, our blood pressure, and these Schumann frequencies. Nothing has yet been scientifically concluded, but if something were to be proven, it could revolutionize medical science. Earth's heartbeat is, in my opinion, one of the coolest ideas in the world of geophysics. And I think it serves as a reminder as to how amazing our home planet is and how important it is to sometimes take a step back and march to the beat of the Earth's drum. Fantastic, fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant. Well done, and first up as well, always such a challenge, Earth's heartbeat, what a beautiful topic. Thank you for sharing. Now, we're gonna pass over to our, our, our judges. Um, where did your mind go? Uh, Adam, do you have a question you wanted to I do, I mean, really interesting topic. You've, you've gone from planetary physics to, to people. It's a, it's a great topic. What, what made you choose this one in particular? Well, initially I was doing my topic about resonance because I was really fascinated with this idea that you could use your voice to break a wine glass. And then after that, I found uh, the Schumann resonance while, while researching it. And I was really, really uh, captivated by this fact that, you know, our planet is emitting these waves and we can use them to do good for people and also make sure that our planet stays, you know, a, uh, a lovely place to live and we can monitor it and so forth. Nice, thank you. Thank you, Adam. Mm -hmm. Did either of our other judges have a question that you wanted to ask? Um, I wondered, was there anything that you, if you had had more time, was there anything that you left out of your talk that you would have put back in? Well, I would have really uh, loved to dive in more into the sort of the medical side of things, where, you know, there, I said there's research being done about, uh, about how we can use human frequencies to treat sort of uh, uh, our diseases, and so... Uh, I, I really would have loved to talk about that a bit more, uh, about how our brain waves can link up, so, so, uh, in theory, to the Earth. If something was proven, then we could use it to treat uh, sort of mood-related diseases. 
Absolutely. Brilliant. Thank Adisha, you. thank you very much for that. That was fantastic. <laughs> yeah.